you all are concerned about the name anti-doping agency which is entitled to make doping test for the athletes who are participating in the various national or international level events there is world anti-doping agency or calling as WADA WADA and this is for all over the world and national anti-doping agency this institution works in India this time this national anti-doping agency or NADA has appointed actor Shuril Shetty as its brand ambassador to clean up sports in the country from the menace that is the current event which we should remember but beside this we have to remember some facts that earlier in this year WADA has suspended NADA as NADA has failed to comply with the guidelines of WADA in some cases so from now NADA will collect the dope samples from the athletes and will send outside of India for the testing more difficult thing for national anti-doping agency is that they they will have to pay extra effort to complete the testing of dope sample for the athletes who will compete in the Tokyo Olympics 2020 coming up to the next topic the climate change conference in which the Prakash Jabrikar the Minister of Environment was the delegates from India published its climate change performance index in that index India ranked ninth in the ranking provided the ranking was to the high category where the countries have ambitious 2030 targets in case of other countries China being the largest polluters in the world has improved its ranking for the climate change performance index and was placed in the medium category and the US and Saudi Arabia are the major polluters in the world and they hardly shows any signs of improvement for that indexing according to the report 31 of 57 countries are responsible for 90 percent of the emissions among the G20 countries only India and UK were ranked in the higher category so the world need to be more careful about the climate change effects which are becoming very fatal to the humankind so as an international initiative many countries are trying to improve their emission rates and it is hoped that we will be able to control the climate change for the sake of mankind coming up to the next point international mountains day has been observed on 11th december the theme of this year is mountains matter for you all you know that the lifestyle in the mountains is very difficult from various aspects and according to the un the 15 percent of the total world's population resides in the mountain area and nowadays it's become more challenging to live in the mountains because of the pollutions climate change and over exploitations and mountains day keeps focuses on the youth predominantly because they are being encouraged to perform their scopes in the betterment of the social life around the mountains okay so there are two points which has to be noted that the theme and the day the theme is mountains matter for youth and the day on which it is celebrated is December 11 okay coming up to the next point another case of world anti-doping agency has been in news that beside the department of India the Russia has been imposed a ban of four years by the world anti-doping agency the world anti-doping agency's executive committee unanimously endorsed the recommendation made by our independent compliance review committee that the Russian anti-doping agency be declared non-compliant with the world anti-doping code for a period of four years. The CRC recommendation which was derived from the reports of WARA's intelligence and investigations uh, and external forensic experts concluded that the Moscow data was intentionally altered prior to and while it was being forensically copied by WADA in January 2018. For this reason, Russia would not be able to participate in any international events including the coming Olympics which will begin on 24th July 2020 and the next Beijing Winter Games also. So that's a big slap on Russia's sports authorities. Although Russian anti-doping agency had the time to apply to the court of admission of sports within 21 days. So there is some facts that the Russia had tempered the data of their national anti-doping agency, which shows clear sign of corruptions among their doping test purposes. That's why 
World Anti-Doping Agency and the International Olympic Committee had decided a four-year ban on Russia. So there are some uh, points which are to be uh, remembered that the Russia has been suspended for four years from any international events. Number two is that the anti doping agency of Russia can appeal to the court of arbitration of sports within 21 days. So th there is the fact that if, if there in any cases some ban has been imposed over any anti doping agencies of any countries, they can appeal to the court of arbitration for sports. That's why this is important. And why they have been debated? Because according to the evidence, the anti doping agency of Russia has tempered some valuable data for the press reports for some doubtful athletes. So this ban will definitely warn other anti-doping agencies to comply the guidelines of WADA and will dare to make such violations in future. So guys, is this really working for you to have some audiovisual aid? If you need any changes from the presentation so kindly leave your comment on the comment box and we'll try to improve ourselves okay as the news becomes the current affairs as i have said earlier in this video so if you are not even watching just as you listen to the song just listen to this current affairs and it will help you remember at the time of examination okay so guys let's go to the next topics abu dhabi the capital of united arab emirates has been awarded as, as world's leading sports destination for the seventh time in a row the coveted award was conferred on the 26th edition of world travel awards which was held in muscat oman beside this the abu dhabi has gained some other prestigious awards such as the best city breaks at UK's selling travels agents and also as the West Asia's leading business tourism destination. So there are um, some facts to be remembered that the best sport destination is Abu Dhabi, the best business destination is Abu Dhabi, West Asia's best business tourism destination is Abu Dhabi and the best city break is also Abu Dhabi. Coming up next topic, where is another important information that Ministry of Culture has approved 2.95 crores financial assistance for the development of Gandhipedia and this project will be implemented by National Council of Science Museum which is situated in Kolkata. The government of India is developing Gandhi Encyclopedia in order to spread the thoughts of Gandhian philosophy and his idea all over the country through social medias. Two things is important that the amount of rupees sanctioned for this purpose of Gandhipedia is 2.95 crores and this will be handled by the National Council of Science Museums and is situated in Kolkata. Okay, coming back to the next topic. Now let's look at the very attractive and important news at the moment that the first electric flight was taken off from Canada. The first fully electronic flight in the world has successfully completed its test on 10th December 2019. The flight was taken off from Vancouver of Canada to the nearby islands. The related fact is that the whole world is trying to reduce the emissions which are responsible for global warming and a major climate changes and polluting our atmosphere. The government of India has also taken some initiatives to introduce some electrical vehicles in the country and as a part of it they have set only 5% GST for electrical vehicle and till March 2009 government of India has supported 2.8 lakh hybrid vehicles by incentivizing around 359 crore rupees and saved 50 million liters of fuel and reduced 124 million kg of carbon dioxide in the air so in this case just remember the first electrical flight was taken off from Canada that is very important questions okay coming up to the next topic as we are concerned about the fact that the 20 the South Asian game 2019 was held in Nepal and concluded on 10th December 2019 and in continuation of the past glories 
India topped the event in respect of medals earned by the Indian athletes. Another thing is that the India is securing its first position since the establishment of South Asian Games since 1984 and this time India was able to own 309 medals totally among which 174 gold 93 silver and 45 bronze was owned by the Indian athletes there is some facts to be remembered that the 2019 South Asian Games was held in Nepal number two India tops the number of medals owned by athletes Nepal holds its second position and Sri Lanka becomes the third highest medal winner in South Asian Games 2019 and another thing is that the South Asian Games was started in 1984 and since then India secured its top position consecutively till now okay coming up to the next point the bio Asia 2020 is scheduled to be held between February 17 and 19 in Hyderabad this time Switzerland will serve as the Indian partner in this conference India is the Switzerland's eighth largest trading partner and the amount of business has turned up to 19.7 billion US dollars between these two countries and about Bow Asia to 2020 you need to know that the it is a initiative taken by the government of Telangana and is going to be held at Hyderabad and what is the theme of this year's Bio Asia 2020 and this year's theme of Bio Asia 2020 is today for tomorrow and the purpose of this Bio Asia 2020 is to create business relations between life science sectors so there are some facts to remember that Bio Asia 2020 is scheduled to be held from February 17 to February 19 this time it will be held in Hyderabad it was a initiative of government of Telangana and this time the partner of India will be Switzerland and beside this you may remember that the there is a largest trade relation between Switzerland and India and we have a trade relation of about 19.7 billion US dollars okay coming up to the next topic the government of Andhra Pradesh cleared Disha bill on 11th December 2019 after the murder of Priyanka Reddy a 26 years old medical student after being raped accelerated the initiation this bill is also known as Andhra Pradesh criminal amendment bill 2019 the act provide harsh punishment towards the mob who did heinous crimes against women the act specifies that the judgment for every case registered should be pronounced in 21 days previously it was four months a special care should be taken to the case of rape and acid attacks under the act those who found guilty will be tried under section 354 of indian penal code however the punishment has been increased the accused with proven charges of sexual attack will be sent to imprisonment for 10 to 14 years the act includes the strict actions against person uploading degrading posts against women on social media in this case the first time offenders will be sent to jail for two years and the second time offenders will be sent to jail for another four years this is significant topic and the bill which was passed by Andhra Pradesh government is Disha and this bill is called the Andhra Pradesh crime law amendment bill and this bill has been introduced in the Bidhan Sabha after the case of Priyanka Reddy okay coming up to the next topic Greta Thunberg a Swedish environmental activist on climate change which campaigning movement which became known as Fridays for Future was named as Times Magazine's person of the year 2019 her movement prompted millions of people from over 150 countries to act on behalf of the planet she also had been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize there are some other honors declared by the Times magazine and those are athlete of the year US women's soccer team guardian of the year US public servant entertainer of the year singer Lizzo business person of the year the CEO of Disney Bob Eager so there is some information that the Greta Thunberg the environmental activist was named as Times Magazine Person of the Year. This is very, very important. Also had been nominated for Nobel Peace Prize and remember the other award winner as well. 
and another thing the ceo of disney is bob eager okay come back to the next point fiki f i c c i federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry presented the sports award 2019 in various categories and the winner of the each categories is as follows a sports person of the year female rani rampal the captain of indian women hockey team male saurav chobe a pistol shooter best national sports federation national rifle association of india best company for promoting sports railway sports promotion board best para athlete sandeep choudhury for javelin throw breakthrough sports person amit panghal for boxing lifetime achievement administration gobindraj kepareddy lifetime achievement player pankaj adbani best sports prompting state odisha best sports journalist kamalesh srinivasan so these are the sports award which was given by fiki each category is important so keep a close eye on that coming up to the next topic rajya sabha passed the constitution schedule type order bill in 2019 on 12 december and this is and this amendment has been done to include the three community namely poriwara talwara and shiddi community of dharwar and belagavi district in karnataka this bill was introduced by tribal ministers of estate renuka singh saruta in the upper house so there is two important points that the name of three newly added scheduled tribes community and the name of the tribal affairs minister of estate okay coming up to the next point that is a one liner fssai and nascom has signed a memorandum of understanding to work jointly to build an app to to make the people aware of not wasting the food and they will try to encourage the food donation by developing the app for future purpose okay this is one liner coming up to the next topic the world's most powerful woman in the list of forbes magazine retained with angela merkel the german chancellor and she was declared as world's most powerful woman for the nine consecutive years and among the last 16 years she had been awarded 14 times coming up to the next topic the ministry of home affairs and narcotics control bureau will investigate the illegal cultivation of marijuana plantations by deploying drones before the plants are harvested in this scheme the the satellite will also be used to find the plantations of marijuana plants before that us uses this technology of drone and satellite to find the plantations of marijuana plant and they control the use of these plants in india in 2018 414 tons of marijuana plants has been seized in more than 24000 places this marijuana plants has been smuggled from various parts of our country for example himachal pradesh tamil nadu karnataka west bengal andhra pradesh etc and the highest amount of smuggling is done from tutikorin of tamil nadu to maldives coming up to the next topic the seventh economic census has been conducted by government of india nationwide through the common service center csc and is expected to be completed by march 2020 and for the first time the economic census will be done digitally what is economic census economic census is counting entry prenuptial units in the country it involves both agricultural and non agricultural activities it provides information such as number of persons employed number of establishments type of ownership and source of finance etc the information provided by the census is used to plan and assess contribution of various sectors to the gdp of the country so one thing is very important that this time the economic census of india is being done by csc or common service center this is very important coming up to the next point the icar indian council of agricultural research and 
National Board of Agricultural and Rural Development or NAVARD has signed a MO on December 13, 2019 in order to facilitate the research and technologies to develop climate resilient practice in the agricultural sector and high-tech farming practices. We know from the past histories that India has always kept its focus to improve the agricultural department and in that part the NABARD was built in 1982 and they are operating and the many branches of NABARD which was set up district wise has been performing till now. So to balance with the era of high technology these institutions have made changes within themselves and for the betterment of the farmer of our country the MOVE has been signed. There is only one informational current affairs that the memorandum of understanding was signed between ICAR and NABARD and beside that we have to keep in mind that ICAR full form Indian Council of Agricultural Research and NABARD full form is National Board of Agricultural and Rural Development. Coming up to the next point, 